welcome back. This is Ballas Kaboo with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Novin, Kyra, and Luke. When we last left off, we were in uh, the future, but we're going to continue side questing, so I just met you at the next destination, which is here in 1000 AD, uh, just north, north of Medina Village at the Forest Ruins. If you remember, there was like a giant, like, pyramid? Pyramid of Power here, you know, next to the Dragon Ball Z arena. Just walk up to it, and your pendant, it's glowing. Yes, of course it is, baby. And we have a shiny that goes up to the pyramid, and now we have four shinies that all land in the corner. And turn everything blue. This is definitely the most powerful thing that we've done with this thing yet. Oh, there's two chests and a new. I don't think I like the looks of this. The seal has been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Choose whatever you feel you need and take it with you. 13,000 years was a long time. Balthazar. I shall see you shortly. So he's been waiting there for like 13,000 years? That is a long time to hold on to treasure. So the one on the right here is a swallow, which is a sword that nobody in our current party can use. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And over here is what I'm going to be getting instead. We get the safe helm out of there. Now the safe helm is awesome. It is well, a, a, a massive upgrade based on what we've got right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the person with the lowest defense right now, which would be Kyra. We're going to go ahead and give her the safe helm up by five from the Eon helm, and it cuts physical damage by a third. And why they just couldn't increase defense, I don't know. I don't know the exact uh, specifics and game mechanics of how damage is dealt. But, you know, you, you would think that just increased defense would be enough. But no, you'd be wrong. So I'm just going to uh, start cutting out uh, all these travel between the side quest destinations. I'll just meet you at the next spot. Okay, we're back in 600 AD at the Guardia Forest, which, if you remember, was the first uh, dungeon that we went into. So I I'm not too concerned about enemies or anything like this here. Uh, but... There is definitely a treasure chest here. It doesn't look like there's any enemies at all, actually. None at all. But if we go all the way over to the east here, we do find another one of the special treasure chests. And it holds another speed tab. And that is it. So we just need to make our way out of the Guardia Forest. And, well, it's very simple to get out of here. If I can remember everything properly. There we go. On our way out. Off to the next destination then. We're still in 600 AD, but we need to go into the Magic Cave here, which is over by Fiona's Villa, if you guys remember, uh, just south and east of where we were. So, let us go inside and find the chest in here. Well, okay, first we need to go into the cave itself. Thanks, Novin, for opening that place up. And it's right here, right next to the entrance. What do we got? We get a magic ring! What is this magic ring you speak of? How much more magic can it give us? Let's put it on Luke since he doesn't have uh, anything that's giving him a bonus to anything. Uh, magic ring. Magic plus six. That's quite an improvement. Magic plus six. Good lord. But we are done here in the magic cave and we need to move on to our next destination. And in our last destination, 600 AD, we need to head over to the Truce Inn. Uh, now, we're going to be doing this one a little bit different than we normally do. Uh, because this is a special treasure chest. Uh, one that we can get in multiple time periods. So instead of just grabbing it here, we are going to click on it. The box has been in the family for generations. Open it, you may have what's inside. And the whole screen glow glows. Glows blue. That's what I meant to say. Uh, no, we are not going to take the item inside. We are going to leave it there. So that when we 
can get at a later time period, it has changed. So let's go ahead and go to the later time period, 1080. I do kind of like that animation, but still, we're like going around the world. Don't we only need to get up to 88 miles an hour? Don't we all know that? Silly game. You don't know how time travel works. Let's go back into true sin now. And uh, even though the inn has definitely changed, look how much it's changed. Uh, the, the box is still here. Yes, open and you may have what's inside. And they don't even get you an option this time. You get the blue vest, uh, which is what it would have been before. The blue vest powered up. And it's now the blue mail. And a delayed little old fanfare. But that's okay because we got the blue mail. Let's take a look at that thing. It is... Uh, probably very similar to the uh, the ruby vest that we had before, uh, except it's more powered up. Uh, you know, defense down by five, but it does absorb water hits, which is very important. Should we find any water enemies, but I'm not going to be needing that at this moment. So I will be meeting you in the next area, which is actually back in 600 AD. I lied. We weren't done. <laughs> In 680. Because now that we have picked up the other prize, the powered up prize, there's no reason to keep this one here. We already got what we came for. So let's go in here and grab the one from 680 after we have powered it up and we grabbed what remains. For some reason, we get to keep both. That's just how it works. Uh, take the item inside. Yes. And we got ourselves the blue vest. And another delayed fanfare. Uh, but the blue vest, uh, not nearly as good as the blue mail. Uh, probably going to be selling that one unless there's a, a huge, tough boss uh, that uses water, but I don't remember one. Uh, it absorbs water hits. So that's the blue mail. Uh, this one absorbs 50% of water uh, water hits, and it's down by 25 from the blue mail. I mean, you're, you're talking ridiculously lower. Ridiculously lower. So I don't think I'm going to be using it, but uh, it's there. I might as well grab it and sell it. There's no need to just leave the chest around. Now we're going to be pretty much doing the same thing here at the Elder's House here in 600 AD. We're going to go in, power these up, pick them up in 1000 AD, come back, and take what remains. Now I believe they're actually over here. Yes, two chests. Uh, there's going to be a in this place. Uh, no, we're not going to remove the object. And no, we're not going to remove the object. Now this, uh, yeah, it gets a little tedious, I think, but uh, you know, all this is going to be worthwhile in the end. I'll try to keep this on screen for a little bit. So let's go to 1000 AD, and we can pick up those treasure chests. And hopefully they have powered up sufficiently to our liking. If, if the next screen will load. Thank you! Go ahead and land right there. Have we ever been here? It's still poor. I mean, I don't think we were ever here, to be honest with you, in 1000 AD. What's the snail stop? <laughs> Let's check this place out, since we've never been here before. I might as well. What is going on? Some monsters coexist with humans, like that piano player! Well, the name Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. How sad. What, what's up, dude? Everyone's over at the festival. What fools! I'm the Piano Man! Something upbeat! That's, that's battle music. I mean, we've heard that before. Play a sad one, Joe. Oh, that one is sad. It's better than battle music, though. Got the best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. <laughs> no. Didn't think so. Damn you, snail stop. But I swear there was actually a, a treasure chest around here somewhere. I think it's actually in the residence. But I did not know what the snail stop was, and I still don't really know what it is. It's kind of a bar of some sort. Uh, what's up, dude? Grandpa and Grandma went to the 1,000th anniversary in truce. So we're keeping an eye on things here. I want to go to the festival too! No! It's too expensive! Uh, although a funnel cake does sound awesome. It does sound really good, actually. Now I want to go.
go where I know I can get one. It's not too far. <laughs> Looks like I'll probably go after work and get a funnel cake. No, no, not worth it. Where is the treasure chest? I swear there was one around here. Maybe it's in the elder's house, which is where we're headed anyway. So I might as well go. Uh, we have explored poor in 1000 AD, just the inn, nothing special in there. So, we can head into the Elder's house and, uh, anything? What's up, kid? Kid, what's up? Dad loves money more than he loves me. <laughs> well, money's good to him. Doesn't I hate most? My dad, of course. What's up? Everybody's dad? I run this town and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> Give you $10 if you act like... Ten well gold, ten gold. I said ten dollars. Ten gold if you act like a chicken, sure. How was that? Ten gold! Awesome! <laughs> Maybe that was the treasure I was thinking of. I swear there was a chest up there. The children are slipping away from us. It's so sad. It's so sad. Ooh, knives on the wall. Nicely done. I will take it. What's up, little girl? It says daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? No, he is. Then here we get a shelter. So, uh, you can technically get that to start the game uh, if you so need it, but you know, nothing ever took me down here, so I didn't feel the need. But in this treasure chest, we get a black mail, which is the black vest powered up. And in this one, we get the white vest powered up, which is the white mail. Let's take a look at those. So you're starting to see kind of a kind of a pattern here. We're getting um, mail, or sorry, vests turn into mail. So what is this? Uh, white absorbs lightning, black absorbs shadow, and it's down by five from the Eon suit. So it's time to go back to um, to 680 uh, so we can grab the, the treasure chest there. And somehow, you know, it, it, in my mind, if we did that, then our... I don't know, would our... I don't know, time travel is so confusing. Would, would the black male disappear? I don't know. It gets so damn confusing. Actually, I think they did it the way that I've always thought about it. That if you... If you had something and then you went back and changed the past, that thing would not change. You would still have it. I think that's how I've always thought about it. I don't know. I've probably thought too much about time travel, especially for a game like this. A game on the Super Nintendo probably doesn't justify me thinking too much about time travel, even though it is Chrono Trigger, one of the best RPGs of all time. Yes, I'll remove the object. A lot of people say the best. And a black vest out of that one, and a white vest out of that one. So it's going to be uh, probably the same thing, uh, down by 25 from the black male and the bl the white male, and it's going to absorb half. Uh, that's what I have to assume. 50% uh, down by 25. Yep, just like I thought. So we are done here at the elder's house, and it's time to do this pretty much again in another area.